the Action Alliance AA on Monday reaffirmed its support for the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Al-Haji Atiku Abu Bakar, in the forthcoming presidential election. Atiku will slug it out with President Muhammadu Buhari, presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, and other candidates at the poll. The AA National Chairman, Chief Kenneth Udays, stated this at a press conference at the party's headquarters in Abuja. He said, We are for Atiku, OB leadership and we are glad to work with all believers of true federalism and efficient administration of governance at all levels to accomplish this as we approach the forthcoming elections. The National Executives Committee NEC, of our party are on the same page concerning our support for Atiku, same with all our state chapters in this matter. We hereby restate our position through this medium that AA as a certified and active member of the Coalition of United Political Parties CUP, have not for a moment reconsidered our wish to alter that position. For your information, AA moved the motion for the adoption of Atiku as the presidential candidate of CUP, and we are on it to the end, he added. He said that the support for Atiku, OB was the support for the growth of the country's democracy and the required restructuring of the country. Udays added that Ugwambe and WOSU still remained the governorship candidate of AA in LMO, and he is the one running for the election under the party, not Oka Rocha. We shall do our best to deliver him, as he still remains the candidate to beat among all the gubernatorial candidates. On this note, let me warn all our members in Nigeria, and the LMO state chapter, in particular that we don't need any infraction in our party, in fact there is no room for that. It is our unshakable, unfailing resolve to work for the emergence of Atiku, OB, in the presidential election and that we must not only be seen to be doing, but to truly do. I will not hesitate to invoke from relevant sections of our party constitution to deal with our young members no matter how highly placed, as AA constitution which I swore to protect remains supremely sacrosanct. Please be warned, he said. He also called the federal government to implement its agreement with the Nigerian Labor Congress on the proposed N30,000 new national minimum wage.